Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel, guys, and today we've got another dragon attack. I know what you're thinking, another one to moot. Well, guys, air attacks at the moment, dragons, inferno dragons, dragon riders are just so powerful. Yeah, we're making more attack strategies. I want to find nice and easy to use attack strategies for you. And this one is really easy to use and very powerful. So we're going to check out some replays in just a moment before we do. Let's meet the troops. So your army is going to consist of seven dragons, four inferno dragons, and four dragon riders. Spells are going to be one rage spell and four clone spells in total. If you're struggling, guys, with enemy clan castle troops, just drop one of the clone spells for another rage spell or a couple of free spells and a poison spell. Clan castle troops will be nine balloons, and we're going to be using the battle blimp. Yes, guys. So we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a quick reminder on this channel, we've got something called Channel Memberships. That's where you can officially help support the channel on YouTube, and in return, you get certain perks, such as an amazing badge next to your name, and at least once a month, a professional base design I will share with you. All the information about joining is in the video description, guys. And do remember as well to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and join the Samus Army. Yes. Anyway, so through the clouds we go. And guys, this base looks quite impressive. What's going on over there anyway? Yeah, there's somebody on a piano, or is it a piano, or is it some DJ turntable things? I don't know. What I, I'm not. I'm. I don't know what they're called, guys. I'm not even going to pretend to be cool. I don't know. They've got vinyl things on. Do they use them anymore, or is it all digital? Either way, we're going to get three stars. We're going to get three stars. Yes. So. There's a couple of ways you can approach attacks like this. You can use the king on one side, the queen on the other like this to help funnel the base. Or if there's strategic targets, you can send, you can use the troops to help funnel your king and queen further into the base. So on this base, we've just sorted the funnel a bit. Uh, king left, queen right, and then send in the rest of the troops in the center. Send in the dragons first, then the dragon riders, and then the inferno dragons. Use your Grand Warden ability on that Battle Blimp. Now, normally, you're going to be attacking from the opposite side to where the Town Hall is. You're going to send that Battle Blimp through the Grand Warden ability and protect it just before it's leaving the Grand Warden's aura. Now, we didn't make it all the way to the Town Hall, but the clone spells are going to save us this time. We put a Rage Spell down and we've cloned our balloons. And now they're saying goodbye, Town Hall. And we did, yeah, we did lose a lot of balloons there. But normally, if you attack from the opposite side, from where the town hall is you're going to be okay unless your battle blimp hits the tornado trap and if it does it's not going to reach the town hall that's why we've got clone spells there as well you know you can use them to sort of move your balloons towards the town hall but normally what you do is if the balloons uh, from the battle blimp do uh, deploy right over the town hall with your rage spell use your clone spells to move them away from the town hall and clone them to take out other targets. Otherwise, they're just going to all clone on the town hall and get taken out when the town hall explodes. So here we go, guys. Three stars. Thank you very much. And we uh, do have another replay or two. So on to our next one, centralised town hall. We're OK. We can take this base out, guys. I feel confident. So what are we going to do here? Let's have a look. So... Uh, we're going to decide to send in the king and queen over here. So I know the king will break through this wall and go towards the centre of the base. But we decided to just spam attack the base. Sometimes that's best. Sometimes by spam attacking, you're protecting your king and queen for further on in the battle. Remember, you've got uh, one rage spell, so you really want to save that to take out the town hall uh, with your balloons. Again, we've hit a tornado trap. We're having bad luck today, guys, but... I think we're going to be okay. We put that rage spell down. Clone spells everywhere. Balloons everywhere. Town hall's been taken out. And we've done pretty well there. We're taking out quite a large segment of that inner core there. That's looking pretty good. The rule champion's there as well. She's just put one foot into that poison clown. I'm saying, get out of there. It's no, no. We've lost her. And um, we've got an inferno tower there. That's nasty. Inferno dragons over on the right. The queen is still there with the unicorn moving around the base. Uh, we've got dragons to the left of me, dragons uh, over in the middle, and some dragons. Oh, there's a dragon in my bedroom, actually, just flew in. Get out, please. Thank you. They're quite destructive. The wingspan alone, you know, destroy your TV, knock things off the shelves. You know, you've got to just be honest with dragons and say, listen, I can be your friend, but I don't want you flying in the house, please. Okay. Um, so are we going to get three stars here? It's going to be close. We've got, we haven't got any hero abilities left. We've got no spells. We've got some badly uh, injured dragons. The queen hasn't got much health. She needs to take out that multi-inferno. That saved the attack there. Three stars. Thank you very much. And we do have one more 
replay for you. So what have we got here? Centralized town hall base. Looks pretty nice. I like those uh, heroes around the town hall. Uh, pleasing to the eye. So loads of structures over there, isn't there? Uh, loads of buildings on the outside of the base. So what are we going to do here? We're sending the king and queen over there with an inferno dragon to help out as well. Take out the gold storage. Thank you very much. Over on the left, same again. That can be the second side of our funnel. And then it's just being patient. You don't want to send troops in too early because otherwise they're going to sort of, you know, follow the buildings around the outside of the base. We want our troops to go into the base. There we go. That looks pretty good. It's funnel time. Clan castle troops are out. Are we going to use a poison spell? No, because we don't have one. Um, <laughs> Queen over on the right. She's still doing a good job. All the troops have been sent in now. Like I said earlier, if you are struggling uh, with not having a poison spell, just drop one of the clone spells and have another rage spell and a poison spell or two freezes and a poison. Uh, we're sending in that battle blimp. Rage spell down. How are we going to do with the balloons? So are we going to use our clone spells? There we go. Is that going to work? Okay. Yeah, we've taken out. Uh, yeah, we've taken out an inferno tower over there. Unfortunately, the enemy queen is in the center of the base, and she is really annoying. We've just taken her out, but the royal champion walked into that poison cloud. That was not very nice at all. So yeah, guys, this is a nice attack strategy. Let me know in the video comments, are you using ground attacks at the moment? I don't think many people are. I think air attacks are just too powerful. You know, I think if you want to do well in the Legend League or uh, War, Clan War League, you've got to use air attacks, really, because the power of that Town Hall 14 when it's destroyed is just devastating for ground attacks, isn't it? So here we go, 40, 40 seconds left. Uh, have we got this, guys? We got this. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the Electro Owl is very... Um, I never really rated the uh, Electro Owl as a good pet. Sorry to say that. But actually, I think the Electro Owl is really good. Get some nice damage. Uh, and we've got a Multi Inferno left in there. And guys, just be careful Multi Infernos in real life. The other day I went to the shop to buy some bread. Walked outside the front door. Thought, what's that? Where's my shoe gone? My shoe disintegrated. That's because an Inferno Tower in the field across the road had locked on to my shoe. I hadn't seen it, it was single target, it just uh, infernoed my shoe until it was gone. So now I've only got one shoe. True story. There we go guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, join the Samoose army, and remember you can use code Moose to help support the channel in game. Just use code Moose before making any purchases. I put a link that does that for you in the video description, just next to the link for the troops for this army composition. Take care guys, thanks for watching, bye.